quarantine day four. The situation is changing. Ah, look at our closet. I don't know where you learned that. All right, good morning, guys. It is quarantine day, I think Friday, Saturday. Quarantine day four. Ah. Well, I'm sorry. Katie and Brennan are here, and we have resorted now. Our Wii is not working even though we bought a new sensor bar. We're gonna try to fix that, but they're gonna watch Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> so I think today, I mean, I'm still working. I was gonna go to the gym, but now we just got a message from our governor that the gyms, gyms, hospital, no, gyms and restaurants and um, what else? I guess our clothes, bars, that kind of thing are to close. So our gym's closing today at two. It is quarter of one right now. So I potentially could go really quickly, but I think I'm just gonna go outside and work out. I guess I'm gonna do that. But, um, and I'm gonna try to get some of this work done. I'm doing some molding work in the house and um, we're just gonna hang out. We played cards last night, but I do think we're going to put together a, a purpose. Like while we're here, let's be productive. If you haven't watched my video yet on the five things that we're doing while we are quarantined for coronavirus, please watch that. That's kind of fun. So we're taking those things and, and doing them, actually. Um, oh, Katie's trying to move you. I'm going to have to go. Anyway, I hope you guys are surviving. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're doing great. And, um, and that's all I have for you today. So stay tuned to find out what the rest of our day entails and maybe um, some of my home improvement. <laughs> Comment down below what you guys are doing during this quarantine. Okay, bye. As is probably the same with you guys, your situation is changing um, up to the minute, like every minute, because we just keep hearing on the news all these different things that have happened. So, you know, we're not really supposed to be hanging out with friends and that kind of stuff. I guess you're really just supposed to hang out with your family, keep your germs at home. <laughs> <laughs> so here when we're home, like I love when our kids hang out with their friends, they do it all the time, but, it is very tempting to um, you know, have a party or go out to lunch with your friends or that kind of thing. And um, like today, for example, all the restaurants are closing so and, and our gym just closed. So Katie and her friends have arranged they're gonna have a picnic at the, um, at the park in the neighborhood. Isn't that nice? Excellent. Have a picnic. So that's good, it's outside. And right now, dad and I had to get out. Mike and I had to get out of the house. So we are going to the hardware store. And we're going to the local hardware store because I think it is important not only to support um, you know, the, the big national chains, but it's also wicked um, important to support your local stores as much as you can. So we're gonna go up there to get some things to um, start my wall, which is very exciting, to finish up the, um, the what do you call it, um, the molding down the stairs after I painted the hallway area and to prepare for our closet, which is gonna be delivered tomorrow. Really, we should just stay home and do the closet and then go. Didn't you make some recommendations or something? I did, I already told him about it, to watch it, to go watch. Great. Yes, and I'm, I'm uh, Jones and to know what you guys are doing too. So I think there's a lot of good ideas out there. And we'll probably play cards again tonight, do some family games. Yeah, Brendan and I, uh, we played um, Euchre last night, and it was Brendan and I against Mike and Ryan, and we beat them 10 to 8, like in the last, it was the last card of the last hand. It's always very exciting. Mm -hmm. Euchre's always good. All right, so here we go. It's an adventure, if anything, right? Oh, no the difference between an, an, an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude, and we've had a pretty good attitude throughout this, That's during right. this whole thing. I hope you guys have too. Bye-bye. All right, we've made a decision. Are you happy about that? We finally at least made one decision. Our decision that is today, we are going to attempt to clean out and declutter this closet. So we're gonna have, it's gonna be very cool. We're gonna have like hangy stuff over here. We're gonna have drawers down here and shoes and everything. So we're kind of switching. This is gonna go over there and this is gonna go over there. I am very excited about this um, this closet. It's Really it's be a nice before and after, you know. It is gonna be a nice before and after. So you guys remember what this looks like now, and I hope I never see it like this ever <laughs> again. Wish us luck. Oh. 
All right, guys, this is no, the deal. Wait, last night, the CDC or the government, or I don't know who, said you can't have gatherings more than 500 people. This morning, or the, yesterday, then last night it was 200 people. This morning it was 50 people, and now they're recommending you don't have gatherings of any more than 10 people. That's half our family. We're that is family. half our family. Our families of 11. Well, that's the, I don't know. Like, we wouldn't be able to get together with our family. Yeah, we will. Well, it, the CDC wouldn't, like, kill us, but... No, like, we wouldn't, but, I mean, like, we wouldn't. I'm sensing body temperatures in this house of over 10 people. But yeah, what if you have, like, We have 26 people in our family. Anyways, just, just, what if you're Philip Rivers and you have nine kids? Be quiet. So, basically, here's the deal. Divide and conquer. We're going to have to kick a kid out. Right. Divide and conquer. Katie Elizabeth, so, Dad and I are cleaning out our closet, Mike and I, and Katie is going to, this is cute. Want to see what you're doing? Well, we originally planned on a whole like big friend group picnic, but then a bunch of people weren't allowed to go. Now, how many people? Well, five from the original group, or more, more than five, maybe like six or seven from the original group. Uh -oh. and a couple Can't more. be more than ten. All right, is this what yes, you need no. to do? If someone shows up, it's more than ten. You can be like, okay, so you're gonna walk people? off yes. the dock. We're you can be like have... one in, one out. Be like, okay, you can come in when somebody else leaves. Because now it's we have to trade. Time. Yeah, exactly. I'll be the first. So, what are you bringing? What are you bringing for your contribution? My corals and bring my jacket. What? Hold on. Uh oh. So, we are really paring down now the extent to which we can. Well, Dad and I haven't been out at all, other than to go to the store. That's it. We haven't seen any oh. friends um, during this time. Molly Fenn's house. Oh, is that where you guys are meeting? I guess so now. That's nice. Why were you touching my face? Because it looked like you had something on your cheeky cheek. If you're referring to my makeup, it is fine and blended. So. <laughs> no, that wasn't. No. <laughs> my mom likes to give me an attitude and I give her an attitude and she's like capturing my attitude, but then it just ends up being funny because she doesn't know how to give me an attitude. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> I don't know where you learned attitude. I don't know either, but I'm so good at it. Yeah, you are. I wish with me, it's not acceptable. Well, Just so you know. I'm going to be a really good arguer one day. I mean, yeah. I already am. <laughs> you are. But you should use it. Do it and I was highlighting my Federalist Papers, and I was like, wow, I'm so good at this. <laughs> you really should be a lawyer, Katie, because you love arguing your point. You're very detailed. I'm also very passionate on my point. You are passionate. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm so stubborn. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You can't do that in front of a judge. Well, You're kicked out. Is that coral? Yeah, that's coral. I, I guess they're all showing at Molly's. I, but there's a, I have no idea what's happening. Okay. So I'm jumping you here? I guess so. All right, have a good time. I love you. Let me know when you talk to you. Yeah, Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, baby girl. I'll see you in a sec. Uh, have fun. Okay. All right, Ryan and I have hunkered down. Yeah. We're staying in. We're watching Cool Running. One of my favorite movies. It's such a good movie. I've never seen it before. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll talk about it later. Goodbye. All right, we just finished watching Cool Runnings. Okay, you guys, if you have not seen that movie, I totally gave it a 10. I thought it was one of the best movies I've ever seen. It was excellent. so good. It was so it's good. Definitely one of my top five. Definitely one of Ryan's favorite yeah. movies. All right, Parts so of the Caribbean. Yes. Cars, holes. Do you say cars? Cars is my favorite Pixar movie. Yes. Holes. You ever seen holes? Holes is really good too. Holes is really good. Um, I have to agree. Batman the Dark Knight, anyway. Hi, Alice. All right, you guys, closet. look at our closet. So we took everything out. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting. Okay, the walls are still yucky, but like they had, I mean, they had like um, all those, what do you call them? What do you call them? All those like Marks. shelves or whatever. Marks. They had all those shelves in them and tons. So I just didn't take the time to, I mean, I filled them a little bit. Oh, yeah. Brian. Look at who came What is that? that? That was in my closet. Oh, you made that for me. Okay, okay, I love you, Ryan. I love you. <laughs> I love you. And I didn't even take the time to spell love. I just put a heart. Oh, <laughs> isn't that cute? But still, I mean, look at this vase. Yes. You sell this on eBay. It's, no, I would never. I saved that. 2041? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get I it yet. I think I, I misspelled 2014. <laughs> But yeah, this will be in the future. In 2041, you can have this. Thank you very much. I'll be keeping it till then. And they look like they're staying alive. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet. I mean, they're good, healthy flowers. Yes. Um, you did a beautiful, beautiful oh, yeah. job. Yeah. I love them.
But, Alright, <laughs> um, you guys, so here we are. Yeah, and everything I give to mom, whether it's like school artwork or something, like a macaroni necklace I made, she's kept all of it. I have. I remember I used to get feathers, like there were like feathers coming out of my pillow. I had like a really old pillow. A feather pillow. And, and it, someone would poke me, and I'd be like, what's that? And I'd pull it out, and it'd be a feather. And I was like, oh, feathers are so cool. I should give this to mom. Somehow I thought my five, six year old brain thought I was like, oh, I should give this to mom. So I give it to mom, and then every time I got a feather out of my pillow, I'd give it to mom. So she had like a bunch of feathers. And I loved everyone. I, I still have. You still have. In my wallet. I still have a in feather. In your wallet. You could go right now and look in the change no, thing. There'll be a feather in there. 100%. All I got is a bunch of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look what I have of Katie's. I saved this of Katie's. Is in my closet. And ready? You said macaroni necklace. Katie made that when she was in elementary school or preschool, maybe I don't know, but I kept it. So every Christmas, uh, she puts these things up on our doors. We made we had this huge cloth. We put our little handprints around. We dipped our hands in green paint and we put it around and we put little uh, red dots and made it look like a wreath. And we'd put it around, or she'd hang it on our doors every Christmas. She still has that from when we were in what preschool kindergarten? Yeah, so we hang it on your door. Uh oh, I'm <laughs> looking for. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Did you lose the feather? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. Find the feather. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was in you there. Are, Where did you it lose go? It? Oh no! You lose the feather? T Brennan's you eating Brennan? soup. Yeah. Bet. Bet. How was your day today, Brennan? Pretty chill. Yeah. How are you rolling with this whole virus? Sit. Well, I'm doing well, Jill. Thanks. Uh, I want to. I want to talk to you guys. Okay. That's crazy, dude. That's it again. I'm cleaning my hands. Good. I'm more conscious of interactions with other people. And yes. Germs. Katie Rady's home after she went. Where'd you go, Molly's? Uh, after your picnic. What's the pic? Um, I was a half an hour, forty minutes late. Apparently. Uh, we had our picnic without Katie. Wait. Yeah. To Molly's house. Really? Yeah, because they all went to the dock and then they were like, come to Molly's. So I went to Molly's and they were like, we, we were already there had at 6.30. You were there at 6.30. Yeah. No, I was there at 6.40, but apparently it started at 6. <laughs> oh, so that's I a rough crack. thing. Okay. Yeah, and then we went to Molly's. We got in the hot tub. We were like, we'll just go back for sunset. But then we missed sunset. And then we stayed there for a while. And then we ended up going back to Kyla's house. And we just vibed there for a while. And now we're here. Fantastic. Oh, and here they Mom. are. Hi, Molly. Hi, Hi Kyla. Wash your hands right now. Molly, wash your hands. You just came in from the outside. You just came in from the outside and you two didn't wash your hands you when you came in. I'm serious. Too. Yes, it's getting a All four of you. You have to sing happy birthday twice. I'm kidding. What made you happy today? I feel like I forget what we did all day. <laughs> I didn't do anything yeah. today. Nothing. Um, until we all hung out. <laughs> I yeah, that. I guess meeting up was cool. <laughs> yeah, what I did before that. Love you, Molly Mom. What made you happy today? I had some pretty fire pizza. Oh, and I had, oh, oh the oh. picnic! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Without me. Without <laughs> Katie. <laughs> this is what made me happy today. Doing this, you guys look at I finished the molding along here. And under here, and the, there, oops, don't look at that. There, and there, and the closet made me happy today. And hanging out with my family made me happy today. All right, what made you happy today? Oh, you guys are playing 2K? Well, you didn't beat them yet. Yeah, I did. You did already? I'm beating you by one. Oh my gosh. Steven Adams is going to be the Michael Jordan player. Brennan, what made you happy today, buddy? No, it's not. It's going to be Craig. What made me happy today was playing 2K with Ryan because I haven't played him in a long time in 2K. Awesome. Yeah. And we used to fight a lot about 2K. Oh, so, so, so. Remember that when we used to like come upstairs really mad? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. What made you happy today, my guy? Um, Playing 2K with Brennan, uh, playing Minecraft with Nate, uh, watching Cool Runnings with you. Um, Good night, you guys. Good night, Mom. How about you, Edward? What made you happy today? Oh, he's a good boy. I know, being with your mommy. I know it. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, I thought it appropriate to 
um, say goodbyes in my closet and hopefully tomorrow we are gonna get the delivery of our closet components and you get to see us put our closet together. And I'm hoping that we'll have the whole thing done so we can get a before and after in just one day. <laughs> Yay! So comment below, made you guys happy here. We hope you are surviving um, this corona, we call it a coronacation, but um, really, that with all respect, actually, but this uh, hunkering down and being at home and taking a staycation. And remember, the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. So please remember to stay positive, help your neighbors, and pull out the good things that made you happy. We talk about um, sharing what made us happy each day. There's always a little bit of something that can make you happy, even in these struggling times. So comment down below, please. We'd love to know what made you happy. We read them all the time, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.